going to share a secret with you that bartenders have refused to give out to the public. During those moments, when you are asking the bartenders just to come up with whatever because you refuse to look at the menu, they have some ingredients that they lean on so that that way that they can provide a cocktail to you that's not too sweet and then that's still strong and all these other different specifications that you put on these guys to create a cocktail in the heat of the moment. One of those crucial ingredients that a lot of bartenders, including myself, lean on in those moments of impromptuness is elderflower. And what I have right here is St. Germain elderflower very popular ingredient amongst bartenders. As a matter of fact, we call it the ketchup, the bartender's ketchup. With this liqueur right here, I can make a house gin or a house vodka martini. It tastes like a $25 cocktail. I have an upcoming cocktail class here in Houston where we're gonna be focusing on gin and mezcal spirits. And I want to put a special emphasis on the ingredients that we're using over the spirits. So I got a little twist that I'm adding to this ketchup right here. So in preparation for this class, I am going to actually infuse it with, you guessed it, rosemary. The rosemary elderflower infusion is so good because obviously, you know, this is a little sweet, has a floral elegance to it, while the rosemary will bring out some of that aromatic earthiness that I think goes really well when you're pairing it with gin and mezcal. You know, gin has a botanical, so this is gonna balance that out very well while this combination is gonna help soothe out the smoky edges of the mezcal. Infusion is a super easy process, but I'm gonna walk you through it right now. First, obviously we have a rosemary, which I've already cleaned. Got us a container right here. Now we have a rosemary. We're gonna go ahead and get it activated using the oils in the hand. Drop this in a container. You don't wanna go too hard where you're bruising them and the leaves fall off. Sometimes we only have like a couple leaves. You can just kind of like waft against the hand like this. We'll take an elderflower. So like I said, infusing is a super easy process. I'm not some chemist over here doing these things. It's just, you have the things that you want to bind with your liqueur and your ingredients. We're gonna put them in a container. We're gonna make sure that it's airtight. And after that, we just let it sit 24 to 48 hours. The length of time that you let it sit for is gonna be a direct correlating variable to how much of the rosemary you want infused in the liqueur. But when I get back from Miami, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain this, fine strain it, so that way I remove all the rosemary, the actual physical remnants of it. And then from there, I'm good to go with my class. Just like that, baby.